Okay, to continue the heavyweight tournament, your final pick, Alistair Overeem versus Fabricio Vicavalo Verdum. Um, he's already lost to, to Verdum once in Pride. Do you think that's gonna have any kind of factor? But, but Alistair is also just, God, he's a lot bigger now. He's just, he, he's, He's Everybody's commented on that. I mean, I remember watching Chuck and Alistair fight in, in the Pride Grand Prix in the first, in one of the first rounds, and like, oh my God, that's the same guy. I mean, he doesn't even look like the same athlete. No. He's, he's, a, he's it's a whole other person bigger than he was before. But he's an amazing striker. He's got the Dutch kickboxing background, and he's he's very very good on the ground. I mean, he's he's a wily competitor. But I like Verdum in this fight. I think he's coming off the huge win over Fedor. He's got a ton of confidence in his ability right now. He's a very, very well-rounded fighter. He's got great stand-up, uh, and we saw that with Antonio Silva. We saw, I mean, he just, he's a really, really, really good fighter, and I think he's just kind of finally come into his, his space, into his own, and, and so I like, uh, although Alistair's gonna be a handful, I think Verdun is gonna get it done. Now, do you think being the type of fighter that Alistair is, when he comes in, he just goes full bore yeah. in the first round, second round, have we even seen him past that third mm -hmm. round? Have we even seen him into a third round? Do you think if Verdum, either, if he doesn't submit him in the first round before he's, he's sweaty and before he could slip out of something, um, if he weathers it and he can get into the second and third round, do you think that works? Those are two instances that are going to work towards Verdum? Absolutely. I think you have to weather that early storm. Again, that Dutch style kickboxing is reckless, it's wild, flying knees and cra you know, crazy kicks and, and, and they come all out, barnstorm you and, and I think Verdum has to be ready for that right off the bat. has to kind of weather that first two, three minutes Get him, get him in later into that first round. Take him down, take some starch out of him. Uh, you know, tie him up, even if he doesn't submit him. And then I think it's his fight to kind of play with and figure out how he, how he finishes it. So how do you think, on the other hand, how do you think Overeem's gonna beat him? I think Overeem can be overwhelming. I mean, he can land a flying knee, he can land a big kick to the head. We've seen him do that uh, time and time again because he is so wide open. Uh, he's reckless, he's dangerous, he's got amazing power. So, I mean, he's gonna come out and get right in your face, and, and if you're not ready for that, you're gonna get overwhelmed. Okay, so for the last and final prediction for this card, who are you calling? Well, I'm calling Verdun. I think Verdun is gonna get the job done. I think he's just, he, it's his time right now. I'm really happy they brought this Grand Prix format back. I think it's really cool. It gives you something to look forward to. You kind of see who's going to advance, and I think it's a really cool format. Uh, you know, Bellator's doing a similar thing right now, and I think it's just exciting. The tournament format is pretty cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pick uh, Verdum as well. Uh, mine's for a little bit different reason. We sponsor him. I, I like the kid, but but I'm very impressed with the fact that he beat uh, Fedor the way he did, and 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 his jujitsu is, is is second to none. He's he's a phenomenal uh, jujitsu fighter. So that's the end of this one.